Back at Alter. Back at Alter. Are you a craft beer guy? Um, I am kind of unofficially a craft beer really? guy. Yeah, like how do, how uno- how is that even possible? <laughs> I think I became a craft beer guy when we started doing these podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Because I only have craft beer when I'm here, and we only do it for the podcast, so I guess... Right. You're unofficially a craft beer guy. I guess unofficially guy, we're a craft beer guys. What so are you drinking here? I have the uh, ulterior motive is what I have. All right. India Pale Ale. See, normally for me, I'm a middle light, but light, you know, I'm domestic. <laughs> I'm right. your basic beer guy. I mean, if right. I'm feeling saucy, I'll have a 7-7, seven and seven, like if I'm at a wedding or something. But normally, I'm a beer guy. So this is out of my realm. Supposedly, this is kind of my, this is comparable to a Merle line. This is a center line, which yeah. is the Golden Ale. Still, it's delicious. Yeah. You know, sometimes you're just in that mood for the beer. I, you know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not mad at this. I think the guys, so we did a podcast here a while back. So we had a, a, um, a, a home inspector on, the, on our podcast. And so we were all drinking different stuff. And so I had a, another beer from here called the King Balaton. And so the King Balaton is supposed to be kind of a fruitier, a fruitier beer, and I, I got, they put me through the ringer for my fruity beer. But it had the words King in it, so, you know. You thought it was for you. Right, right. <laughs> Makes sense. So that's how that went down. So, yeah, but, I, you know, this is a cool place. I like that we, they allow us to come in here, do yeah. our shows. They don't give us a hard time, and, you know, we come here, have a beer. Talk to people and keep it Yeah, going. it's a great location in the middle of Downers Grove. I mean, it's cool looking at the, what, what would that call the kegerator or? <laughs> right, so you can see the whole. <laughs> you can see them brewing right here, which right, is right, pretty right. neat. Yeah. The only thing that this, it didn't have food. But what's really cool is you can bring food here right. and they don't mind that. And that's right. awesome. Right. That's right, awesome. Right. Now, sometimes like they, they have these wine, not wine, but they have these cheese and cracker plates that you can get which is yeah which is cool too so you know well I believe a craft beer I think it's way more than you know the alcohol anyway yeah it's way more than normal normal beer so they probably in good faith have to give some kind of snacks to absorb yeah. something well I would, yeah I would think you, you gotta have snacks you gotta have snacks. gotta have snacks so how's business man business is good man the market is is thin, which is kind of frustrating for some of the buyers out there because yeah. there's not a lot for them to choose from. Um, and then as soon as something comes on the market, if it's nice and it's priced well, then I mean, it's snatched up really quickly. So it'd be nice if at some point if we can get some builders to come in here and do some building, yeah. you know, in some of these towns, some of these DuPage towns, some of these Chicago land towns. Um, that would be a good thing, but you know, otherwise, you know, for sellers, they love it because as soon as they put it on the market, um, they price it competitively, then it's gone. Right. For so us, now, we're for us, we're okay. We're uh, we're a national company, so if we're slow in Illinois, we can pick it up in Florida yeah. or you know other states and stuff. So we kind of have to rely on you guys on, on states over here. It's kind of dictated by the seller. Yeah. But you know, for us, so much it's not so bad since we're national. So luckily, they have that benefit. Yeah. Us, so. so now what? What? I know you guys are here. I know you guys are in Florida, but you say national. So do you guys have like a physical location in almost all states, or how does no, that work? So our headquarters is in Woodridge, and we have another secondary office in Tampa. So by being national, we're licensed in 22 states. Okay. But we're able to do all 50 if need be. Got so it. Well, I'll give you an example. California is a state that we're not licensed in. But we can do business there because we just go through our underwriter. Got so it. we're kind of the middleman for that. So we facilitate everything. So if you, if you have a California deal and the borrower happens to be in Illinois, we can facilitate that. Whatever's more convenient for the borrower. So would, would they post up like at a, an attorney's office for the closing or how does that? Whatever's convenient. So South Carolina and Georgia are attorney states. They'd have to be closed by an attorney. Um, here, it's di- it's usually dictated by the seller's attorney, yeah. so the seller's attorney usually decides where they want to close. Got it. So we we follow that. On other states, it's usually realtor uh, driven. Yeah. So whatever's more convenient for them and their client. Got it. Usually for national business, what we do is we close something, like the sellers are on one side and the buyers are on the other side. Got it. Got it. Okay. Very cool. Easy enough. So you know, it was all this talk about. 
you know, what's happening in real estate and what, you know, the government is doing as it pertains to, you know, some of the, you know, things that are happening in the real estate pipeline and, and all of that. So what, you know, what are you seeing out there? What are you hoping, you know, in your industry, being the title industry, what are you hoping that uh, gets passed or that? Well, what we want to see as a title company, we would like to see regulation with title insurance. Okay. Um, you know, I'm sure that not a lot of title companies or maybe people feel the same way, but our stance is, you know, title insurance and closing costs are going through the roof. Yeah. Locally, we would like to see some kind of regulation where title companies, you can charge X, you know, lenders charge whatever they want, uh, attorneys charge X, and then that's it, you're just fighting for customer service. That way the consumer kind of wins. Yeah. You know, where it's instead of, you know, every entity charging so much, the consumer kind of loses out. Yeah. You know, because the title charges are, you know. So for us, I guess, Greedily, we would like to see some kind of regulation that way. What about yourself? Um, you know, I, for me, I just would like to see, you know, n not so much, you know, I, you know, we want things to be regulated somewhat, but we don't want, you know, every little thing that we do to be, right, you know, to, to be heavily, heavily regulated. You know, we want, um, things to work out in the best interest of our buyers and sellers um, but you know at the same time we don't want every time something every time we turn around you know they've got a new rule or a new law that you know we got to do something different here and change this over here and you know all that kind of stuff we'd like to be, be left alone right leave our stuff alone I'm sure um, um, Kevin and or Keith have different opinions as well yeah, so our buddy uh, Keith is actually in the hospital. He is in the hospital. I have no idea why. And he told us, but I don't understand what right. it's for. Yeah, so I'm, I'm the medical, uh, I don't have a medical. Thoughts and prayers to Keith and the family. Hopefully, speedy recovery. Yeah. You know, he sent us a video text message wishing us luck. Yeah, so, that'd remember. be cool. We should, like, play it for the people watching. So we they can should check play it. Out. We should play so, it. Going back to regulation and stuff like that, you know, it'd be cool to have an inside track on uh, on what's going on with that, and yeah. you know what's in the pipeline and, and all that stuff. You know who's got a good contact? It's actually, Keith. He knows uh, a state representative, David Olson. All right. Yeah. Right. Maybe he can give us some insight. It would be cool to have him on the show. I think that would be awesome. Yeah. So yeah, Let's maybe we should uh, have Keith give him a call. Let's have it. Let's do it.